And overnight here in Florida, an emotional return to U.S. soil for 270 Americans evacuating Israel. They flew on a charter plane from Tel Aviv to Tampa and are now sharing their experiences escaping the war. NBC's Dasha Burns joins us now from Tampa. Dasha, you spoke exclusively with Florida Governor Ron DeSantis, who organized the trip. How was that carried out? Well, look, Jose, most major airlines canceled flights going in and out of Israel after the Hamas attacks. And a lot of Americans were stranded, didn't have a way to get out of the country. And so the, the Santos administration has launched an evacuation operation. And last night we were able to speak with folks who finally made it home and we heard their stories. Today, more than 270 Americans evacuated from Israel are back in the United States, arriving in Tampa overnight on the first flight to return to the U.S. in an operation organized by Florida Governor Ron DeSantis. It's very emotional to be here, to be away from all of that. 91 of the passengers arriving last night were children. These kids are having to dodge rockets. These kids are having terrorists come after them. Not the way this world should be. The Gobiov spent much of the last week huddled in a Jerusalem bomb shelter with their toddler. Can you describe the level of fear right now, the level of fear that you had while you were in Israel and the level of fear in your community? So uh, on a physical sense, uh, we're very thankful that we're here. We are very blessed that we had a governor. We have a Hashem that got us here. I mean, God took care of everything. But uh, on, a, on, a, on an emotional level, it is very overwhelming to be in a situation of where you have a fear of your life. For many, the homecoming is joyful, but the heartache isn't over. Liat Paradise was in Tel Aviv when the war began. So much. It's just, it's so much heartbreak to leave everything so, so suddenly and, and everything you love. And I haven't gotten to say goodbye to a single person. I'm worried. You know, all of my friends are out there serving. My cousin is on the front lines in Gaza, you know. <laughs> And Jose, this is all part of an executive order allowing the state to carry out these evacuations. And more flights are expected throughout the week, bringing these Americans home to this state, Jose. Dasha Burns in Tampa. Thank you very much. Up next, messages.